Welcome to Church of the Chair, where you can't spell assassination without two asses and a nation. I'm your host, E, and today, we're double caked up on a Friday. If you're new around here, I need to give you a warning. I will be spoiling all of Stephen King's books in this series, so if you haven't read them all, I suggest you click away now. You've been warned. Today, we're talking about 112263 by Stephen King. So how does 112263 tie into the Stephen King universe and the Dark Tower series? Let's get into that. The first thing I want to mention here is something that I missed in the original video. I usually leave viewer comments until the end of the video, but I want to get this one out of the way. The Reader in Black had this to say. And then two people commented, very oddly, this. I checked Cell before I checked 11.22.63, and of course it is not in Cell which makes me think that these two, sorry, these two are just trolling. But since the reader in black actually gave me a page number, I'm going to read to you the exact bit and what it says on page 180 of the first edition hardcover of the book. Come in and see. That something seemed to whisper in my head. Never mind all the rest of it, Jake. Come in and see. Come in and visit. Time doesn't matter in here. In here, time just floats away. You know you want to. You know you're curious. Maybe it's even another rabbit hole. Another portal. This, of course, happens in Derry, which brings me to another connection. Richie and Beverly from It are also in this book. Why I find this section so significant is because the voice in the pipe references another portal and my new theory is that the door that jake epping travels back in time with is another thinny or another door like the doors in drawing of the three and several other doors in the dark tower series many thanks to the reader in black for pointing this out and i'm sorry these two guys tried to make you feel like you were not correct. You are 100% correct, and I wanted to get that out of the way first thing. Next up is a pretty wild theory that I myself came up with. In 11-22-63, when Jake Epping goes back in time to stop the assassination of JFK, he comes across a car called a Takuro, Takura, I, I can't remember, and I haven't been able to find it in the book again. I also haven't reread it again, so I was just skimming. But he comes across a Takuro spirit. Now, I said in the original video that I, I brought this up, but I didn't go into great detail. The reason why this car is so significant is because when the Cotet, Roland, Jake, Eddie, and Susanna, when they end up going to a Captain Tripp's ravaged America in... The, at the beginning of Wizard and Glass, they mention a Takuro spirit, but it can't be the original timeline that Jake is from because the stand laid waste to the population and there's no mention of Captain Trips in Jake Epping's modern timeline. So he didn't go back into the past on his timeline. He traveled to a door into another turn of the wheel. I would love to hear from you guys about what you think here because as far as I'm concerned, they can't be the same timeline. Jake Epping's modern day before he goes back to stop the assassination and the past that he goes into are two different timelines because Captain Trips has not happened in Jake Epping's timeline. And I think that's very significant, especially for my theories, but I would love to see what you guys have to say. Next up, we have a comment from this user that pointed out that Ernie Calvary from Under the Dome is mentioned as having written a news article in 11-22-63. Many thanks for this comment because I completely missed that. Ernie Calvary... Calvary is not a, a huge character in Under the Dome, um, but I did double check and he is mentioned in both books. But that's all the time I have for you today. If I missed anything, if you have any corrections of anything I said in this video, or if you have theories of your own, please leave them down there in the comment section. But until next time, I have never been what you'd call a crying man. I'll hail the chair.